Rich Glazier back in the paddock here at Delaware Park. You never know who you're going to run into on a Monday afternoon at Delaware Park. And here he is, the all-time winningest jockey in the history of this game, Lafitte Pinkai Jr. Lafitte, welcome back to Delaware. Hey, thank you. It's nice to be here. Now, you know you did well. In 1973, you were last here in the Delaware Handicap, and you won the Delaware Handicap in 73. Can you remember who the horse was? Yes, uh, it was a filly called uh, Susan, Susan's Girl for uh, Fred W. Hooper. And uh, I think that's probably the only horse that I ever rode over here, and she won. So I, uh, I'm uh, batting uh, a thousand over here. <laughs> that's right. He's undefeated at Delaware Park Lafitte, of course. How many wins did you have all together, in including the Delaware Handicap? Well, I ended up winning uh, 9,530 races. 9,430, that might be your play four number in the lottery tonight. Lafitte, uh, what brings you to Delaware today? Well, I came with uh, the mani manager of the Jockeys Guild, uh, uh, Dwight Mindley and uh, Larry Samuels, and uh, we're going to talk to the jockeys. We have a meeting after the races, and uh, we're just uh, trying to uh, let the jockeys know what, we d what the uh, new uh, uh, Jockeys Guild is all about, and uh, that's what I'm doing here. All right, Lafitte, you know, you retired, and there's legendary stories about you going on an airplane and taking one of the peanuts out of the bag and cutting the peanut in half to eat, and that was your lunch. Now, you look like you could ride right now. Have you gained any weight? Well, uh, yes. I uh, weigh about 124, 125 pounds, and uh, that was my problem, you know. So even though I watched myself very carefully, uh, I, gained, I gained a lot of weight. So... Uh, I have never let myself go ever since I had the accident, and I'm, I'm still heavy, you know, so it shows you that uh, that's my problem. Now, are you all healed from all your accidents? Yes, I'm here. Thank, thank God I heal uh, very well, and, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I would love to go back to riding. I miss it very much, but uh, um, I don't think I, I should because of my injury. Yeah, you say that, but I was watching you watch the last race here at Delaware, and I almost looked like you were riding that horse, and... Uh, uh, you think if you if did go back, could you be the leading jockey at Delmar right now? Well, I, I sure give it a try, you know, and I I, I think I, w I will win a lot of races. There's no question about it. There's still a lot of training that uh, asked me uh, to go back to riding, and uh, uh, they're still winning a lot of races. And that's one thing that I hate about going to the track, that I see all those guys that I used to ride for, and they're winning races. And I sometimes I think, like, uh, hey, that, that should have been me on that horse, you know, so it's... It's, uh, it's kind of painful. Do you, you ever think of training like uh, Willie Shoemaker did? No, I don't think I want to train horses. Uh, I, uh, there's a lot of pressure training horses, and um, I had a lot of pressure when I was riding, and I don't want, I don't want that type of pressure again, so uh, I, 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 better, I better stay away. Lafitte, you know, you're sitting here, you look good, you're wearing the sunglasses, you live in California, how about a movie star? Do you ever think of doing that? <laughs> No, no, no. My son, my, my son, uh, he might be a movie star. He's a good-looking kid. Yeah, your son uh, works for HRTV. We see him on the television here. They cover Delaware Park, and who knows, they might be taping this right now. Well, Lafitte, I don't want to hold you up. I appreciate your time, and uh, it's been a great honor to meet you. You've done a lot. Do you think anybody will ever break your record? Oh, definitely. Uh, Russell Bay is very close, and uh, he's still very young, and he's still riding very well, and... Uh, there's no question about it that he's going to break my record. Uh, will you be upset when he breaks your record? If he breaks your record? Well, listen, I, I would love to uh, be on top all the time, but uh, I know uh, records are meant to be broken, and uh, he, he deserves it. He, he rides very hard, and he's a great rider. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, ever since I, I broke Shoemaker's record, I, I kind of knew that somebody was going to break mine. So it really, like I said, you know, I wish I would stay on top, but... Uh, it will be fine if somebody breaks it. You rode a lot of great horses. I know you jockeys don't like to say, but if you pick out one horse you think was the best you ever rode? Well, I affirm there's no question about it. He's the best horse that I ever rode, and uh, he, he was uh, uh, very easy to ride. He, he, he will do anything you want him, him to, and uh, he has speed. You could take him from behind, and uh, he, he definitely was, he was the greatest. How about jockeys, uh, best jockey you ever rode against? Well, I would say that Bill Shoemaker is the greatest rider that I rode against, and uh, he, he, uh, he just has some great hands, and he was very natural, and it uh, was very tough to beat. You're from Panama originally. Do you ever get back to Panama? 
I have been back there many times since I retired and uh, enjoying going back there. Got, still got a lot of friends, a lot of family. And uh, in fact, uh, I think in September I, I'm, go I'm going to be going back there. When you, uh, where are you more famous? In uh, California where you rode most of your career or when you go back to Panama? I think in my country, Panama. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're pretty famous here, too. Lafayette Pinkai Jr., the winningest jockey in the history of thoroughbred racing. Thanks for being with us. Hey, thank you. Nice to be here.